Today we're going to be going over technique playing off of our last video of the Kimura and Full Guard and uh, this time we're going to be going over a guillotine when our opponent won't let us take his arm. We're going to set up the guillotine off that, fall back into our Full Guard and finish it from there. So I'm starting off with Full Guard, again I'm grabbing his wrist, dropping my guard, posting on my opposite leg and elbow to get my hips out, locking up my hands together. Now he's putting all of his weight on it and I can't get this arm out as much as I fight it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this arm out and wrap it around his neck. What I want to do now is post on my back hand on my opposite foot and get my hips out. I want them out as far as I can. I want to make sure my hips are out behind his head. Don't worry about opening your guard. You can only pass to this direction. If he passes to the opposite side, he's giving me the choke. So this is the only side you have to worry about when opening your guard. From here, I'm going to bring my arm in and lock up a ball and socket grip. Just a basic no thumb grip over my wrist and securing that around his neck. From here, I use my legs on his hips and I pivot out. I want to fall at an angle so that I end up on my right hip. So as I'm falling, I kick off of his legs so I end up on my right hip and I lock up my guard. From here, I pinch my knees, get to extend and squeeze. So the secret detail here is, is I want to cut his neck. I want to basically do a lever motion. So I don't want to just lift up on his neck. I'm going to be lifting up and pushing down on his head, like a guillotine motion, which is exactly what we're doing. So I want to lift up and I got to make sure that my lap and my armpit right here is smashing on his head as I'm lifting my arms up into his neck. So again, in full guard, I'm going to grab his hand, sit up, and lock up the Kimura. He's going to drop all of his weight on it, so I can't get this arm out. I'm going to go around his neck, toast on my back hand and my opposite foot. I'm going to get my hips out. I want to shoot them way, way out. I want to over-exaggerate this move. Again, like I said, opening your guard is not a problem. He only has one option to pass. So I just check his hip, make sure he can't get over right here. I'm going to bring this arm in, lock up my ball and socket grip. So I'm falling back. I'm going to kick off of his hips to get an angle. From here, I close my guard. I'm pinching my knees together, and I'm sitting up to him, making sure that I have none of his neck exposed. So I'm sitting up, pinching my knees, and I need to squeeze and drive my lat, so I'm doing a side crunch as I'm extending away from him. Okay, so that was our guillotine from a failed Kimura attempt. For more technical videos on that, you can go to our website, www.10planetwatch.com. If you guys are in the Los Angeles area and want to train with us, you can get more information at 10planetbandeyes.com, and you can give us a call at 818-925-5487. Mike Frosto, Gabe Calvento, see you on the mats.